guys so, so i'm going to quickly um demonstrate how to do a word in two point perspective so you should have your paper which is about nine inches tall and um, draw the horizon line in the middle so i'm measuring four and a half inches from the top and now i'm going to take my very long ruler and uh, draw my horizon line this little ruler is so long that it doesn't even fit on this table. So I guess I'll use this one. All right, next thing you have to do is mark your vanishing points about an inch or a half an inch from the edge. Let's see if it's still there. All right, good. And then align somewhere near the center and this line can start about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch from the top and end again a little bit before the bottom and now we're just going to connect the line with the vanishing points to create guidelines to help us with the height of our letters And after I'm done with that, I'm going to write my word right above this um, diamond. I'm just going to this here. Okay. So my word is dream. So it has five letters. And I like to write the word above to kind of help me with the placement. So you might have odd number of letters or even number of letters. So if it's even, obviously do one half on the left and one half on the right. And if it's odd, just choose which side gets more letters. My letter E is going to be in the middle because it's closest to the center and also closest to the foreground. It's going to be my widest letter. And on this side is going to be my 3D part. I am going to put some space between my letters. So this is going to be my space between letter A and E or E and A. And the letter A goes a little bit further in the distance, so it's going to be more narrow than the letter E. And now the space is also going to be smaller because um, it's going further in the distance. And the letter M is also going to be a little bit more narrow. Now I'm going to put another space between the letter E on this side and letter R. And then another space, which is going to be slightly more narrow, and letter D. So what I'd like to do next is to write the letters kind of almost like a stick figure format in a pencil. And then the, after that, I put make them two dimensional. So I just make them wider. So they're not so stick figure. So the easiest one would be letter D. Because I can just go like this and then um, do the center. And for the letter R, we'll just go like this. So right now I'm just making my letters 2D, so I'm making them wider. For letter E, um, I like to connect the prongs of letter E to the vanishing points. This center part of the letter E can be a little bit shorter than the part on the top and the bottom. 
and by lining it up to the vanishing point it kind of makes it open up and get a little bit wider when it comes closer to the center letter M you guys already practiced um, but of course I'm going to demonstrate it again just going to see him draw it okay so now I have my two dimensional parts of my letters so to make the letters 3D you need to I'll do letter A. So the letters that are on the right, the 3D part is gonna to connect to the vanishing point on the opposite side. In this case, it's left. So you have to take all the points or edges that are on the left-hand side and connect it to the left-hand vanishing point. to get the correct angles for the 3D, um, for the depth of your letter. And then this angle, this line is parallel with this line, and then this line is going to be parallel with that line. So there is letter A. Now I'm just going to quickly do letter M. So this is my space. So again, I'm going to take all the edges that are on the left and connect them to the opposite vanishing point. Well, this ruler is not long enough, but I'm just going to kind of line it up and push it so it lines up. So coming from the vanishing point, and goes about here. Okay. And to here is about there. It's better to use a longer ruler. Yeah, I'll try using this one. No, this is soft. Okay, and one more. Finish it. This line is parallel with this line. And I think this can just go this way. So it's a bit harder to see here. So I'm going to erase this pencil mark. So the 3D part here and the sharpie is dying. So you don't have to color it, I'm just coloring it so you can see it better. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna quickly finish the letters on the left. So the letters that are on the left, the 3D part has to line up um, to the vanishing point on the right.
And for anything around like this, um, this is not going to reach. You just take the edge of your letter and still line it up um, to the vanishing point. Decide how wide you want it to be. And then um, you just kind of have to freehand outline it like that. The straight lines can be done with rule, obviously. Um, this is just a gap here, so. And for letter D, just extend it. Again, letter D is on the left, so we are lining it up to a vanishing point on the right. the curve is also going to kind of overlap so and that's it i hope this helped let me know if you have any questions bye